Welcome back to the channel guys. Remember this encounter between Judge Middleton and Samir Siraj Mauro Bay in St. Joseph County, Michigan about six months ago. Uh, Mr. Perdue, you got another ticket for driving with a suspended license. Second offense, that's a misdemeanor punishable by up to a year in jail and a fine of up to $1,000. You're also charged with speeding. I'm assuming you're going to plead not guilty to both of those? No, no, of course not. I'm innocent and my name is not Mr. Purdue, so I would um, I would appreciate if you didn't call me Mr. Purdue. Mr. Mauro, okay. let Mr. me tell you this. Uh, Stop. Yeah, you're from some alternate universe where you don't have to obey the laws. Of no, the you state. don't respect the law, sir. Stop. If you drive again here in St. Joe County, I'm going to set right your butt travel. at $10,000. They continue to pull me over and they won't leave me alone. Well, stop driving. At least stay I out don't of the drive. Country. I travel. All right. Traveling is one thing. Driving is another. You can travel all you want. All right. But let me let me make this I, that's clear. That's what I'm doing. And they won't so, let me travel. They won't let me travel on my own land. And you're violating, you're, you're violating the law and you know it. Well, one of us is. I'm just telling you, if you continue to keep driving on some cockamamie thing. I don't thing, drive. You're, well... You're behind the wheel of a car. Give me this BS about traveling versus driving. I'm just telling you right now, you heard it here. Right. If you drive again in St. Joseph County and you get another ticket, I'm going to set a very high bond. You can sit in jail for 28 days until we sort this out. Well, they are back for another bout. But Mr. Bay is late for his trial. But even worse than that, he turns up late with three bench warrants for failing to appear for his last pre-trial hearing three weeks ago and totally unprepared to represent himself. Judge Middleton is not happy. Uh, Deborah Davis is here from the prosecutor's office. Uh, Samuel R. Perdue, who also is known as Samir Morrow Bay, is here today. Um, he has three separate driving suspended charges that were scheduled for jury trial. File 213ST alleges driving suspended second offense on January 31st, 2021 here in St. Joseph County. File 202073 alleges driving suspended on September 17th here in St. Joseph County. I think there may be a speeding charge with that. File 202653 also charges driving suspended second offense and forgery and speeding. All of those matters were scheduled for jury trial today, November 10th. Uh, Mr. Morrow Bay wishes to represent himself on these matters. He has a perspective on the Michigan Motor Vehicle Code that disagrees with the state's version of it. But This guy can't even turn up for his own pre-trial and he's late for this trial. So I don't think any of his debunked legal theories will be getting any kind of airing today. Just a hunch. Uh, he didn't want an attorney and didn't wish to uh, uh, have representation. He wanted to represent himself in all of these matters. So we treated him like an attorney. We set the matter for a final pretrial to prepare for jury trial. And he didn't show up. So there are presently three arrest warrants for Mr. Morrow Bay's arrest for failing to appear for duly scheduled last pretrials about three weeks ago. Uh, we don't show up on the morning of trial with a basket full of papers and inconvenience 30 to 50 jurors who have to come in and hear your case and several witnesses without preparing for it. So we scheduled a pretrial conference and you didn't show up. So I've called off the jurors for today and the prosecutor has called off all the witnesses. And there are currently three separate warrants for your arrest for failing to appear. But you're here now. 
Judge Middleton has given this guy so many chances over the last few months and has treated him really well, but we all saw this coming a mile off with how disrespectful he was in previous hearings. Judge Middleton is a fair judge, but this guy is pushing his luck. I think I was on the order. Uh, we sent that to the address that you gave us. And if you're representing yourself, you need to act like you're representing yourself. We sent you duly notice to your Sage Street address in Kalamazoo. Uh, the same notice you got for this. I don't. I don't live there anymore, and uh, and I can't represent myself. I am myself. All right. Well, I'm not clairvoyant. I don't know that you moved. So. Um, Mr. McNair, you're driving me crazy. I'm going to put you in the waiting room. You're walking all over the place and flashing the screen and giving me vertigo and you're sideways and upside down. And so I'll be with you in a bit. Don't go away. Uh, yes, that's your position. Then you're not doing a very good job of it because you didn't tell me where you lived. You didn't show up for a pretrial where we prepare for this. And... Uh, now you come rolling in with a hat on the morning that your 30 or 40 jurors are supposed to be here. That's not a very good way to do business. Uh, it's my religious headdress. I'm a Moorish American national. Yes, I, I recall. Well, that looks like a plain old woolly hat to me, but what do I know? Oh, and is that your fake Moorish driver's license there I can see? Because that won't help you now or in the future because it's not a state-issued driver's license. Um, all right. The Ms. Jurisdiction to begin with. Ms. Davis is here I'm still Ms. Waiting for on behalf of the prosecutor's office. Ms. Davis, do you have any thought on this? Your Honor, I would ask that he be held in contempt for failing to appear at the last pretrial. I would also ask that an order enter regarding discovery if all of these items that he's holding on to are intended to be used as exhibits at the trial. Uh, I would like to have copies of those so that we can uh, be prepared. Also, I'd like to have our motion for joinder of the cases heard so we can uh, settle that matter uh, prior to choosing the jury and having another date set. Right in the middle of my busy arraignment morning when I have 14 people waiting to be arraigned. And that probably think... work out too good. Uh, if but we it's all on, it's all on him. Address. He didn't show up. He also got notice of your motion. Mr. Morrow Bay, do you have documents that you were going to present as part of your defense? I mean, um, I, I, um, I mailed in documents and I never got a response. Well, a real lawyer would know to follow up on stuff like that to make sure that you are ready for your trial, but you can't even be bothered to turn up for your hearings, so expect what's coming to you, I guess. I well, did you have some, do you have some you wish to present? Well, I mailed in an affidavit to you more than once, and this is also my, my um, legal notice for my lawful name change. Because I, I put it on the record that I'm a Moorish American national and I'm not an American uh, or, or a U.S. citizen, excuse me. I'm a man of the land. I'm native to the land. So um, so a lot of these rules that uh, um, that the state of Michigan is uh, creating does not is not applicable to me, unfortunately. And I was trying to be All respectful right. to the court and let the court know since the beginning in a respectful manner. <laughs> I guess that's a no then, you don't have anything to present. What a surprise. And it looks like Judge Middleton has heard enough. And I have lots of documentation to prove it. All right. Uh, I want you to take Mr. Perdue into custody. Okay. Uh, we're going to execute the three bench warrants that are currently out for his arrest for contempt. We'll take him to jail and we'll make an arrangement later to discuss Are you the arresting me right now? Wow. I don't have time to do it now. Hi. 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 Mr. Perdue, you're going to jail, the St. Joe County Jail here in St. Joe County, and I'm going to hold on to you in lieu of three $1,000 bonds until we can review your contempt and uh, the other things we need to deal with. 
But if you're going to represent yourself, you need to do it right. You need to show up when you're supposed to show up. You need to follow the rules of evidence and procedure. You don't just come in and say, I'm my own country. I'm going to do what I want. So you're going to jail. I was unaware. The bond is $1,000 per file, and I will talk with you later. So uh, right now you're going to the St. Joe County Jail. All right, Thank we'll you, deal Ron. with him, Deborah, when we have more time. Thank but you. Uh, he's clearly in contempt. And uh, he is his own person, so he isn't representing himself. He is himself. We'll see if we can sort that out. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, I guess. This arrest has actually been on the cards for the last six months or so. Judge Middleton did warn him numerous times that this would happen, but at least he's off the road. Well, for now at least. Right, that's it for another video. Thank you to Mr Swindle Hoodwinked for this one. He debunks the claims made by Moorish Americans daily, so please go check out his channel in the description. Also, links to the previous hearings in this case will be in the description also. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.